Today we're talking about how you can access funds in your 401k plan when you're still working. One of the ways that's easy and convenient is a 401k loan. Um, when you take a 401k loan from your 401k, you're the bank. So you pay yourself interest. And so that's one of the big advantages. You can take a short-term loan, like one to five years, or you can take a long-term loan if it's used for the purpose of purchasing a home, and that can be extended to 30 years. Things you might want to consider, and this is the big question I always ask uh, my clients when they consider a 401k loan, is how are you going to pay it back if you leave the company? You know, some providers will allow you to deduct, make deductions from your checking account or even a direct deposit, but all that's going to be contingent upon what the 401k provider and whether they allow you to do that. So that's a big it's a big thing to consider because if you leave the company and you don't pay off your 401k loan, what will happen is that loan amount will be considered income and you'll be penalized 10%. So that's pretty significant. Um, one, of, one of the things I also wanted to talk about when you take a 401k loan, you are the bank in that case. So the interest you pay back is what you're making, but it's not invested in the market. So if you pay yourself 6% interest back and the market earns 12%, well, you've missed all out on that market during that time. And it could be subject to taxes and penalty, like I said, if the 401k loan is deemed. Let's also talk about other ways you can take money out of your 401k plan. If you're 59 and a half, most plan documents allow you to take in-service withdrawals. The, that money that you take out is subject to income taxes, but it's not subject to penalty. So again, when you're 59 and a half, you can take money out of your 401k. Another thing is uh, for hardships, things like medical expenses, education, first time home purchases, you can take money out of your 401k plan if, if it's written into your plan document for those reasons. Now, they definitely subject to income taxes when you do that, and it's potentially subject to penalty also. So these are some of the things you can consider when you, if you need to access your 401k plan, and uh, it's a great way to, uh, to access it. I do also want to say this video is designed for educational purposes only and is not intended to be financial advice. Always consult a professional for any specific situation you are considering.